We are heading to the Attack on Titan event right now with James and... I'm just the driver. Yeah, James. I just drive my fun car. James is my chauffeur to the yeah. event. Nice, so thank you, James. I'm balanced. So, you guys just saw the Attack on Titan Young LA event, and I did a workout with Casey Kelly, and unfortunately, the audio got super fucked up. It would have been an entire video, but um, unfortunately, the audio was completely scratchy and just unsalvageable, so it was just an edit, So, um, which is unfortunate, but yeah, we are home now. We ju I just drove like six hours straight home, so yeah, we finally made it home, and I just edited that intro part in it. I don't know, I just felt like it was like really good vibes. And uh, honestly, that this trip to, to California was honestly like one of the better trips I've ever had, maybe the best, just cause you know, going to the beach with like Lex and Steph and you know, getting to meet new people and make friends and some good genuine connections, it was just a really good time. Um, but yeah, well, now that that's over with, um, what's next on the agenda is uh, we gotta keep the bolt going. So that's what we got to continue doing. Um, and it's tough because it's like, I see Casey and he's four days post show shredded to the gills. Um, if you guys just want to know, he is about like 160 ish uh, in that video. And I was about uh, probably 183. So yeah, and it's just crazy how much bigger he looks like than me, even though he's like smaller. It's just, it's just crazy what being that lean can do for you and like lean and full. Um, but I'm not done bulking. I haven't, I haven't earned the right to uh, cut down yet in my opinion. So, and it's tough because I know like Lex is starting to cut, 
but uh, we got to keep it going because I feel like I uh, I just have to. So, but really, my goal is is to be waking up at 190, and then I've probably gone from at my lowest, which is probably like probably like a year ago, maybe a little bit less than a year ago. I was uh, I was like 167 at my lowest, and that's when I was super depleted. I looked terrible. I was super shredded, but um, yeah, so we made some pretty significant progress and you know, we still have like, we still have a decent body composition, which, you know, makes me feel like I'm not afraid to, you know, pack on a little bit more pounds. It's not really, uh, being, you know, a little bit less body fat, not as shredded. isn't, isn't as good for like social media and stuff, but that comes second to the gains. So we got to keep it going. Yeah, we're still above 180. Thank you. It's just so hard to eat on vacation. Um, but now that we're finally back home, we can get dieting again. And I'm just excited to train. So um, excited to eat, train, get back into the routine and make some gains. So um, yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ooh. All right, so back from the trip. We needed to go get some food. So I just ran to Trader Joe's real quick. And I'll just give a brief. This is something brief, just so if you guys want to buy some of these things, but got some bananas, uh, some almond butter, blueberries, cheese, um, a stack of rice, beef, and yeah, we got some eggs and stuff just for, just for today. And oh, I also got some chicken breast as well. So, and I don't know where the, where the chicken breast went. Somehow I lost the chicken breast. Ah, oh, dude, I missed my car, man. I missed my car. Wow. Guys, holy shit. It's something that I just like realized. Um, which you guys might find yourself in this same position is a lot of times, probably like these past six months, um, and it's weird because I just didn't realize it or didn't acknowledge it, but I was just caught in this constant cycle of doing the same things over and over and not, you know, I guess getting a little bit too comfortable. And I don't know, it's once you realize that you've been like caught in this fucking negative cycle of just doing the same things over and over and you know you're around the same negative people and you know all these things and it just it feels like you're not moving anywhere in life and I I don't know just like getting out of my hometown and just like traveling just this past weekend has kind of made me realize like wow six months have gone by and you know I haven't like I feel like I, I've been doing the same things over and over and over. And like, I don't know, I, it's, in, it's interesting because in high school I also felt this way. Like towards the end of high school I always, it was the same cycle of just going to school, going, you know, going to see like what are the moves for the weekend and it was that every single time and I was just like, why do I feel like I feel like I'm just completely stagnant in life and you know obviously after high school I got through that I you know had these goals and I had these things that I wanted to do and, and I wanted to achieve and you know I I started to like accomplish those goals and you know do those things and I think that that um, I think that that really uh, made me feel a little bit too comfortable and um, just like this past weekend, uh, just hanging around good people and, you know, people who are aspiring to, you know, do more. Um, it made, really made me realize like, damn, I fell back into that cycle. And, you know, you, you can, you know, you can be like, damn, like, oh, you can feel bad for yourself or you can like finally like wake up and make that change. And I just want to kind of want to tell you guys like that, like I go through that you know, so many other people like that I've talked to even this past weekend go through that and, you know, you can break out of it. You just have to, um, what helps a lot is just, you know, 
removing those negative people from your life. And it's not like you have to hate them. And it's not like you have to, you know, make this big revelation, but just, you know, just kind of pull yourself away and think about what do I want to do for these next couple months or what, what do I need to do? And, you know, once you kind of make that realization, I feel like you can start to move forward and, you know, do things that will actually make you feel good and fulfilled. And, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because it was, it was just kind of something that I was, uh, I was like, I just realized that I was doing and I didn't even realize that I, I was doing it. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's just interesting. But, yeah, that's why it's always important to just, you know, go, get, get out of, you know, whatever you're doing and try and make yourself uncomfortable. Try and do new things. And even if it doesn't work... Um, it's better than just sitting there in that constant cycle that of, of just, you know, not, not progressing anywhere. And, you know, you might need to make some lifestyle changes. You might need to, you know, not go out as much or whatever it may be for you. But, and, you know, you, you may, you may be around people where, you know, it's a, like for them in that, at that point in their life, it is okay that they're you know, not progressing, and they're comfortable doing that, but for some of us, it eats us alive, and it, and it, and it makes you, like, that's why, that's why you get sad sometimes, or that's why, like, you have these feelings, it's because, it's because you know you're meant to do more, and you know that you could be doing more, and, you, and you're just not, because the people around you, and, like, everything around you is making it feel acceptable, but deep down, you know that that's not fucking true, and that you can fucking do more, and, and I'm talking to myself, and I'm also talking to, you know, those of you who, who feel that or, you know, relate to that. And it's just, once you, once you do fucking get out of that mindset and start moving forward towards your dreams or moving forward towards, you know, living the life that you want, you feel fucking great. Like, you, you, you wake up and you don't, you wake up and, and you don't feel fucking terrible about your day. You're, you're getting excited about your day, and... Yeah. The sunlight begins to fade now And I feel like I'm losing time But I don't know how I'm here The sunlight has turned to grey And I feel like I'm losing love again I don't know how I'm here
so I see they got a speed bag here and when I was younger my brother had a speed bag in his room and let's let's see if I still got it I used to I that used to be like my only workout before gym membership I would do pull-ups like on the fingertips like here bunch of push-ups and I do the speed bag um, before I, before Gabe uh, entered the gym life but let's let's see if I can still do it Right hand's getting better. The I still can't do two hands though. Fuck. It's harder than it looks too. 